Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Feed the Beast. This is Selic, and uh, I am glad to be back. Thank you for your patience uh, for my long weekend. I, uh, I'm very happy to be back playing again, building, and recording. So, I wanted to show you a few things that I've been up to. I made myself the new Zycraft tank. The little Zycraft block right there. This is a 12 by 12 tank that I'm going to be filling with lava that I have uh, plans for in a future episode. We're going to be using lots and lots of lava. So I'm very excited about that. Also, I've been working on the storage room a little bit, as you can see. I also made myself the advanced electric jetpack, which, by the way, is ultra cool. I love it. Uh, you can work for a very long time flying, digging. Uh, it keeps all of your... Um, items charged up your tools and it's very cool so I also finished making all of my retrievers there are going to be 76 total and I have made one array here as you can see this array will be in charge of these six barrels here and uh, for each row so there are 24 of them total and I, let me show you what I did. Each one of these has a receiver, a wireless receiver. And so, and they're all numbered according to where they will, well, need to be numbered. And then I'll need to come back in here and put the pipes down um, because once it calls it to retrieve, it will be sent down to the item test rack and to my chest. So let me show you, it took me a little bit of um, work I guess some design sort of messing around. I actually had to draw it out a little bit to get this um, as compact as possible because the problem I found was I was thinking about doing it, you know, one every uh, two rows. Well, the the only way I could figure to get the redstone to work was using three. So let me show you what I did. So the way you set it up is you have your, your base and then the block that the receiver sends its signal to. And then on top of that goes a retriever. Just like that. And so that's one. And so then we're going to do, let's see, this. Not that. Okay, and then let's see if I can do this by memory. Yes, here and then here and that is not correct. <laughs> Goes here, here. Yeah. Like that. So then, oops, I moved it. The retriever goes right here. Get that out of the way. And our receiver, right here. Okay, so that's one, I guess, layer. Now what I do is I flip it. So we're going to put a retriever right here. Block here. And then another block here. And the re receiver goes like that. And then, this is always the tricky part for me. So let's see. That corresponds to that. So we need a retriever right there. We need a block on top of it. Mm -hmm. and then a block right there. Okay. So then we go like that. Oops. Perfect. Okay, and so there it is. There is the, the design that I used to... Oh, forgot my receiver. I need to face this way. I mean, I don't think we can actually stand there. Will you go and go? Oh, I missed. There you go. All right, and you can actually remove this block if you want. So let's stand back so you can see the pattern. There you go. And so it's fairly compact. Uh, this will be row four. This is off just a little bit, but that's okay. Um, because we are skipping, well, we're not skipping exactly the way we'd like to skip. So anyways, you see how this one powers each block which then powers the receiver um, retriever I mean and then you can just line this up as far as you want to go and have your barrels stacked on top of each other 
So I'm going to do a little more work off camera. I'm going to finish setting up these arrays as I have outlined here. And hopefully by that time I'll have plenty of, yeah, I'm getting lots more, plenty of um, obsidian to finish up my wireless receivers and then the transmitters we can do at a different time. And we'll start putting some things in there. And we're also going to look at decorating. And I'll do that as soon as we get back, which is, oh, well, I guess it's right now. Well, I have it all finished up here. I finished putting the pneumatic tubes in. It's like a rat's nest of pneumatic tubes in here. But it's all, you know, I probably, well, I may, maybe could have moved this a little bit closer. But I think it's all relatively compact. Um, and that's what I was going for, at least part of what I was going for. So everything is numbered um, 1 through 76. I have my power coming down from on top and running to both sides here. I, I'm not sure if this is going to be able to handle all of these. It's probably, it's, well, I think it's nighttime right now. Yeah, definitely nighttime right now. And so we'll see if it can handle all of it. I, I grabbed some item tesseracts because I didn't want to uh, take away from my uh, obsidian from making, because I need to, uh, to make these tesseracts, you have to grind obsidian and have obsidian dust. And I didn't want to take away from making these things. I, yeah, I'm at 51 right now, as you see. So I still have another uh, 25 to go. So, uh, but I think it's time for a real deal test. I think uh, I have these set up. These are called from storage. And then I have my two storage set up here. And I think we're just going to use the 7 through, what is this, 7 through 14? 13, 7 through 13. And uh, we will, yeah, we'll do some testing with it. So let's just set up a few things. Let me, um, let me go grab our, a couple of stacks of different things. And in the same way that, you know, I s sort of showed the way I like to sort of test things out and, and try things in little bits and pieces. And even though we tested it on a small scale, now that we have it fully put in there, I want to test it on a large scale to see if we introduced any issues while building it. So let's get, try that. Interpearls. Now, one of the things I'll have to admit as I've sort of examined and, I guess, analyzed the um, the method here, there are a few downsides. Obviously, the major upside is having your uh, items wirelessly accessible, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Hang on, i got to count this. One, two, three, four, five... Do glass again. So, wirelessly accessible, nice and convenient. The problem is, is it requires a stack or whatever you. I mean, I could. I guess I could call these things 16 or 32 at a time. Either way, you have to put something in the r retriever so it knows how to filter. So, on your more rare items or or like you know, if you want to do diamond, I guess you would probably not want to stick you know, all of your diamond or a stack of diamond in there because, well, unless you're have like stacks upon stacks, which I don't have right now, I don't have a stack to afford to put in there. So yeah, that's, that's the a big downside of that is, okay, so the UR stone. And the other downside that I was thinking about was, I'm not going to remember this. Um, the other downside was having um, the speed of the pneumatic pipes is really, I guess, you can put the accelerator on there, but all it does is accelerate it while it's in that pipe. It doesn't send, the, the acceleration doesn't continue through to the, um, into the pneumatic pipes itself. So it, um, it will go really fast and from end to end, and then when it gets to the next end, it slows down significantly. So, you know what, let me do this off camera. Let me uh, stick a bunch of stuff in a chest and we'll fill up this bottom row here and then we will uh, do a test. Okay, it is time for our test. So uh, let me show you what I did. I went ahead and put um, cobble, one bit of cobble in each of these so that our test won't be affected. Oop, forgot that one. 
it will not be affected when we send because it will consider any um, empty barrel to be a, oops, a valid location so even though you might have a barrel of 10 it will actually send it to an empty barrel first so let me put that right here okay so on my you see here seven so seven is our smooth stone so we're gonna go seven through thirteen so uh, smooth stone is seven ender pearls redstone dust you can sort of see in the screen at the top there iron lapis ten and then copper so let's go down here well yeah so you sort of saw this back here excuse me each one of these um, will once it pulls it will see this as an, a valid destination so it'll push whatever item to this point here and then uh, it'll be picked up in the chest and then we have our um, our two storage here that will actually uh, put everything back using this relay so let's go down here I think I might have pressed the button to you so what are we on we're on copper so we have four stacks seven we'll do copper and ten so let's see if something showed up down here yep there it is cool so let's send you back and it's gone so let's see, let's see if we can see it going yep and there it goes very cool yeah so what I did down here I set up the um, hobbyist steam engine and the hobbyist steam engine is a two MJ per tick and so you saw how it pulled I think 40 at a time so I'll probably go as a matter of fact let's just go ahead and do that because I have a commercial sitting right here I need to make some more engines let's see so I'll go down to where you're sitting and I have my little cool liquid test rack there and there we go We'll see if that will send full stacks now. We'll get some. So we'll get a couple of these guys. We'll see how fast we can get these back up here. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I could have used my handy dandy remote. I, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Do you pull in stacks? Do you pull? Yes, there you go. Guess it's slow for some reason now. Hopefully it'll speed up once it gets going. Okay, there it goes. So let's try it the proper way now. So let's call. Let's see. We'll go through each one. So smooth stone. Then. Oh. Ender pearls. Redstone dust, iron ingots, lapis. And of course, we won't do it the hard way. We'll have buttons set up. My fingers are getting confused. Okay, lapis. Ten. Shift. Right click. Plus escape. Copper. There we go. So we should see copper up, oh, and there it is. And that's actually not a bad speed. I was a little, little nervous about the speed, but you know, it's really not that bad. Um, but you know what? I think that is a success. I'm excited about that. Now, what I'm not excited about are these basalt panels. And I was just, you know, you know, my, I like basalt a lot, and it just does not good go good with these barrels at all uh, it looks pretty bad as a matter of fact so you know I might think of um, putting some more of my uh, iron to work and maybe making some iron block panels that might look nice um, last time I checked I couldn't cut the aluminum let me check that again real quick I can re remember where I put my cutting saw and my aluminum blocks where did I Ooh, snow might not look bad but that might be a little too bright there, there. So yeah, last time I checked, I could not cut these, and I still cannot. Okay, so yeah, I might try something different. Um, well, definitely gonna try something different. This has got to go. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know. I, you know, I thought about maybe going really colorful on it, but I really don't think 
um, I can handle. I'm not, I'm not a bold color kind of person. Like if it, there's some highlights or some hints of bold color, don't have a problem. But if it's like the main feature or the main outline of something, um, I'm not as big of a fan unless it's done really tastefully. And uh, I personally have not done it tastefully at all. So, but you know what? Don't don't let that uh, sway you. If you have a bold color idea, let me know. I might like it. I don't know. Um, so yeah, that will uh, that will do it for this part of the episode. Um, we will head over to the desert island. So as we're coming to our island here, I wanted to show you one other thing that I did. I forgot to show you earlier. I put uh, haste on my boots. And uh, so now, man, this thing is insanely fast. And I like it a lot. So, yeah. And before I forget, I think it was last episode, someone in the comments requested the seed. So, here it is. You see it? I guess you can pause your uh, video there if you want to write it down. That is the seed that I'm playing on. And uh, I don't know if uh, world generation has changed since uh, since I started, but uh, hopefully it will generate similar similarly for you. Okay, so today's topic, uh, desert island topic. If you could have one thing and one thing only... Um, I probably should have talked about it uh, right after I talked about the food episode... But um, what drink would you want to have? Obviously, you want to have some water. Or you, you don't want to die of dehydration. But if you could have that one extra drink, uh, what would it be? You want some, maybe you want some Gatorade. It's pretty practical, practical, you know, keep you maybe extra not dehydrated. Um, maybe you'll want a good old-fashioned Coke. Um, you know, I, had to, I didn't have to think about this one too long. I really, there's only one drink, if I could have only one, it'd most definitely be beer. I love beer. I like it a lot. <laughs> I, um, I probably, I wish there were such thing as, like, good tasting calorie free beer. If that were the case, that's probably all I would drink. Um... But as you know, it's high, high, uh, high carb, high calorie. Um, but and I, you know, I'm not a beer snob. I I like all kinds. Now there are some. I'll be honest. If someone handed me a beer, even if it was like something like Natty Light or something, I'm probably gonna drink it. Even though it might, I might have a little tick <laughs> when I do it. Obviously, to be polite. But um, I don't know that I could turn away a beer. Um, I, you know, like I said, I'm not a beer snob. I'm not like a Guinness only or a, you know, uh, even though I like Guinness. Um, I'm also, I'm a bit of a sucker for commercials. So, you know, if it has, I, I, I guess I hate to admit it. I, I like gimmick beer. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, I guess as long as I'm aware that I'm, I'm being pulled in by commercials. I'm like, I'm watching football. I'm like, hmm, Coors Light sounds delicious <laughs> because they had a funny commercial. <laughs> oh, anyways, yeah. A little bit of uh, confessions of my own, um, I don't know, silliness. So what drink uh, would you guys want to have? Would you just want chocolate milk? I don't know. What, what do you want to have? What do you want to drink on your desert island? I'd like to hear from you. Um, also... I hate to admit it, but I'm starting to run a little low on ideas for the Desert Island. So, if you guys have any uh, Desert Island topics you would like to discuss, let me know in the comments. And if it's appropriate, we will talk about it. Um, I think that would be fun to, to let you guys help help me out, think, of, think about some things you'd like to hear from me about, and uh, we could talk about in the comments. So, anyways, everyone, I appreciate you all watching. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the episode, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again next time. <laughs>